Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement. MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell is now going after the handicap, as he says, after his paper ballot plans have had pushback because people with disabilities have the right to vote safely and securely. This is about as wild as it gets when it comes to bargain bin Burt Reynolds, and this comes in the same week that peach tree dish babbling national divorce desiring helicopter hog hunting Marjorie Taylor Greene was confronted in a restaurant, and I break down her interview where she again plays the victim card for something she has a documented history of doing. Because. Because of what you're wearing? Because they told me to say anybody wearing Trump has to go right now. Oh! oh. oh. I'm sorry, guys. I have to call LPD now. Ah, uh, yes. The back the blue crowd arguing with the guy ordered by DeSantis to turn away Trump supporters from Little Ron's book signing. The land of the free. It is pouring MAGA tears. Mike Lindell is on a mustache dye dripping tear with his take on the handicap voting. Marjorie Taylor Greene is making the rounds playing the victim after someone shouted at her in a restaurant. I have a laugh discussing the latest and stupid. Check to see if the socks stay on with Alex and MTG in the bunker and more. The woman that wanted to emeach Biden tweeted, Sometimes a meme says it best. Maps showing the only place my taxes should go to. Naturally, I replied, the pinch-faced hamster-dancing bikini car wash reject who failed to declare her ankle monitor-wearing husband's income, paid staff out of the till, and tried to deduct the circumference of the earth is pretending she pays taxes. You would think that dollar store Sarah Palin would at least remember Alaska, but no. Everybody listen real closely. This is what they're going to try to do to your country. They're going to—they're using the handicap um, laws or the handicap. Going, you can't do this because you have to help. You have to have the handicap covered. It's pure Lindell magic that this person starts a rant about the handicap by telling everyone to listen closely. Well, let me tell you about the handicap. There's so many different kinds of handicaps. You know, you have blind, you can't hear, maybe both, maybe you're missing limbs. Maybe there's, you know, it's all kinds of, the, the list goes on and on and on. Mike keeps saying handicaps, like this is either 1985 or he's talking golf with Diaper Dawn. If you don't have machines, you don't have to have them for handicap either. There's other, other ways that it says right there of how you're going to do it. It gets worse. You know what? No matter what's your handicap, you need someone to help you. So you have someone there to physically help you. Hey, you need to be a wheelchair. You need to be this. Um, you can't read it. Here's what it says. This is where you can either do this vote or this vote. Uh, put your pen here, put it on whatever, whatever it is. You need to be wheelchair is peak bargain bin Burt Reynolds. Back in the day, if you can't find, if you can't find someone that could help you, if your handicap is so bad that you can't see, you can't hear all this, well, then you better have a loved one has to help you because there's no device ever that could get that you could get through to that. It's got to be common sense, everybody. You know, I have people that are handicapped. I help them all the time. My disability was temporary. I spent about a year on crutches, and I would have not wanted this guy helping me with anything. I have people, and you make, you make as much as you can do, but there comes a point where you're going, hey, a family member or someone, um, I'm sorry, you might know who I voted for, but that's the way it used to be. Not everyone has family around or people that they can just trust in their life or simply a friend that can help them, especially when you want to eliminate advanced voting and mail-in voting. But you can cover 100% if you have a person there that would be, a, you know, either a loved one or someone that say, hey, you have to have a person available to help them if they accept the help. Yeah, they might, they, you know, they might know who you voted for. You know, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. If you had a disability and the only person who could get you there and help you is like your ultra mega cousin, would you feel comfortable? Did you put Biden? Yeah, 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 put Biden. And as if some super right-wing poll watcher is going to be trustworthy, every time these folks bang on about voter fraud, there's another Trumper charge with multiple votes. It's always them. Our sores desire to weep fluid.
Of course the source desired a weak fluid. It's the spot-riddled, pasty, lopsided mushroom toad of the DJT and slow Eric's own journey. Just so we understand exactly where the sores are. Just so we understand the denial of her kitty. But for the wart-riddled post and ridiculousness, a shame desire to keep quiet. Early on, Laura's husband, just us, Don Jr., and my father, bros thought we had a shared understanding about keeping the Ivanka love. But they had very different reasons. I mean, seriously? Well, last night I was having dinner with two members of my staff, um, and we were working, preparing for committee hearings today. Um, and then we were approached, Some a woman came over to my table, uh, came and stood very close to me and started verbally attacking me, calling me all kinds of names. And then another member of her party started screaming, F you, Marjorie. Yes, this is the same woman who screams at AOC through her mail slot, chased down teenager David Hogg through a city street, and kicked Deputy Communications Director of Voters Tomorrow, Mariana Pecora, out of the way. As loud as he possibly could, over and over and over again, inside this restaurant. They have no respect for the restaurant, the staff, and the other people dining there. MTG really wants to be the victim here, just like she tried to claim she was a victim on January 6. I'll believe Margarine Taco Gristle's a victim when I believe she's a capable athlete with all 10 toes. She posted this on purpose to show how fit she is. You know, back when Hillary Clinton declared that we're all deplorables, they basically tried to claim that we're second-class citizens simply because we're conservative. No, you're not conservative. You are proudly ultra-maga. You say this again and again. Your party is unidentifiable. You'd reject Reagan, and Reagan would reject you. Democrat voters everywhere and fully supported by the Democrat Party to attack Republicans in public no matter what. There is no line they will not cross. Okay, child chaser and kicker. And it is disrespectful, they are insane, they are crazy, and it needs to stop right now. Disrespectful, insane, and crazy should be on this woman's driver's license and her posters for re-election. It, it, it totally suits her. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. How did that happen randomly? <laughs> we, I, hey, hold it. Hold it. I, I, I it's now trouble. called there the it is. It's now called the Ban and Pilla 2.0. God. Uh, hold it. Hold it. Hang on. Okay, hang we'll on. give you a little back there. Use hang the promo on. code War Room for uh, the yeah, MyPillow.20. Hold it. Mike offers him a promo code for MyPillow.20. Give you a little back hey, there. Use the on. promo hey. code War Room for uh, the yeah, MyPillow.20. Hold it. There you have it, point two zero, standing next to misinformation. Point two zero is the average rating out of five stars for your pillows, Mike. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie again. Good dude. She is being very upset about being harassed at the restaurant where some people spewed all sorts of profanities at her. When MTG told me what they said, I was really shocked that they were just so like unoriginal, you know, just the usual F-bombs when they had a Neanderthal-headed Mickey Rourke and the wrestler-looking dog the bounty hunter Georgia Gremlin blonde meat swamp right in their sights. And they just shot blanks, in my opinion. Like I'm just saying, if I was a rounder, Thur Soros, Trudeau, Panda Express, globalist, left wing coming after her, I would start by shouting the truth about what is going on, shin down. I'd be like, uh, excuse me, miss, uh, how dare you attempt to Olive Garden when there are hardworking patriots, women and children here, when you know that six inches below the knee, you're walking on two hammered spam cans with pink curdled meat paste licking from the dented botulism seams connected to soles that look like the shedded skin of a malnourished corn snake and a mismatched set of toes that resemble back of the fridge peeled garlic that's getting all green and white and you are too scared to even touch it, so you just put things in front just hoping it'll go away and then one day you have too many wobbly bops and you see the double BPA container of MTG looking moldy garlic toes and you need to make an emergency Zoom call with your dark web therapist because you have flashbacks about that time you accidentally saw a sliver of those cheese grater factory accident feet because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. This video is a lot of fun. If you haven't seen it from earlier in the week, please check it out after this video. The voters have got to expect more out of their politicians. They've got to expect more out of people than whether they give a good speech or not uh, when they elect them. So they've got to have higher standards. Why don't you go back? Why don't when, when people vote for people, say, okay, tell me your background. How, what did, have you actually gotten anything done? 
I yeah. mean, let's let's look at what people have done before they uh, before they run. That's how you hire people in the private sector. So this is the hospital executive who was part of the largest healthcare fraud settlement in U.S. history. During Scott's 2000 deposition, he pleaded the Fifth Amendment 75 times. Columbia HCA pleaded guilty to 14 felonies, a 600 million plus fine, and at the time, this was again the largest healthcare fraud settlement in U.S. history. Columbia HCA admitted systematically overcharging the government by claiming marketing costs as reimbursable, by striking illegal deals with home care agencies, and by filing false data about use of hospital space. It also admitted to fraudulently billing Medicare and other health programs by inflating the seriousness of diagnosis and to giving doctors partnership in company hospitals as a kickback for the doctors referring patients to HCA. It filed false cost reports, fraudulently billing Medicare for home health care workers and paid kickbacks in the sale of home health agencies and to doctors to refer patients. In addition, it gave doctors loans, never intending to be repaid, free rent, free office furniture, and free drugs from hospital pharmacies. Even if you had hair, you would not be good looking. You are just wrong in the face. Why do you both making this video? Politics is not your thing, Timmy. MAGA tears. State media propaganda designed to deflect from the globalist agenda. Lap it up, sheeple. MAGA tears. Anyone who sticks up for this clown is complicit in helping to destroy what used to be American values and the American way. History will prove how corrupt the media and the FBI were in unseating Trump. Lies and falsehoods are the tactics they use, and the facts are coming out. MAGA tears. Another person getting millions from George Soros to further the left agenda. MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video and following me on social media. This costs you nothing and makes a huge difference. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. If you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my merch that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, have toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years, and I have three albums that you can stream on Spotify and Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for watching. Life's short, be cool, be kind, take care.